Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on an Asus laptop, and I'll walk you through step by step on how to change out the battery, upgrade the M.2 drive, maybe the RAM, how to change out the motherboard, things like that. So in this video, I'll explain to you from start to the end, and what are the things I do, so that you can hopefully do the repair for yourself um, in the same laptop here. All right, so let me show you the model number. If you flip it around, if you look at the very fine print, it says F512D. And this is Asus laptop. The Vivo Book 15, okay? So let's go ahead and turn it around. And we'll be removing the back cover. Get a regular Phillips screwdriver. So the bottom screws, the four bottom screws are the shorter ones and then the rest of other screws on the top and in the middle, they are slightly longer. Once you remove the other screws out, so let's go ahead and get a prying tool. We'll be prying open the back cover. All right, once you remove the back cover, let me give you a quick walkthrough. What are the things that you're looking at? So these are your speakers, the left and right. And here is your battery. This is your M.2 solid state drive, which contains all your windows, your data, everything is stored in this drive here. Here is your uh, DDR4 RAM. This is your CPU fan. I believe this is the uh, CPU and this is the graphics card. So this is the heatsink. The way they make it is quite funny is that the fan is blowing air into the heatsink, which is the graphics card and the CPU, and then it exhausts out the channel. So I believe this line right here is kind of follow along with the back plate. So if you can see, that this line is a divider that divides uh, the motherboard with the, the, the intake of cool air coming into the fan and the fan exhausts it, blowing uh, air to the uh, copper heat sink and exhausting the, uh, the heat. So it's kind of a unique design if you ask me. Uh, typically, the usually the heat sink would be facing on this side of it and the fan is blowing away from the laptop. But this is a slight, slightly different build. Alright, let's go ahead and remove the battery. So once you remove the bracket, what we can do is... I think the battery is a slide out. So you need to slide the connector in this metal piece away from you. So to, to insert, you push it down. It's a clip on. So you clip onto the uh, connector. To remove it, you got to push it away. So that direction away from your body. And then go ahead and lift it up. 
So the connector is not like a pull connector. It's kind of like Lego is snapped on top to close it down. And the clipper is the one that holding down to, to the wire. All right, so once you disconnect the battery, let's go ahead and remove the screw here. And this is your Wi-Fi antenna. The black cable is on the top. The white cable is at the bottom. So just go ahead and disconnect that. And now we can remove the battery. Now, if the battery replacement, uh, if you need to change the battery because the battery is not holding the charge, or maybe if you can see that your battery is swollen or like a lump on the, on the battery, uh, that is time for a replacement. Now, if you look here carefully, it says the part number is C21N1818-1. So this is the ASUS battery replacement part. What I'll do is I'll link them in the description below. Uh, you can check out like from either Amazon or eBay. That's where I usually put the, uh, the replacement parts from. All right, so the speaker here is pretty straightforward. Disconnect the... Uh, the connector here by sliding down towards yourself and then here is the entire speaker you can just remove it left and right are connected the same and the replacement part for that you probably need to look it up in this um, this code right there the next step I like to do is to disconnect the Wi-Fi card remove that one screw and slide it to your right that's how you remove the Wi-Fi the Wi-Fi card. Uh, pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and remove the M.2 drive. So this M.2 drive is the one that holding down, hold down the uh, all your stuff here. Uh, if you decided not to fix the computer, so give an example. If you spill liquid or anything onto the keyboard and the computer died, but what you want to do is to recover your information. Uh, you can actually buy one of this USB adapter. Okay, so this USB adapter, you can go ahead and remove your hard drive and plug it in into your different computer. Your other computer will be able to see the information by using this USB adapter. Again, I'll link them in the, um, I got this from Amazon and I'll link them in the description below where you can go ahead and buy them. Now, for those of you who are interested to upgrade your current hard drive to a larger drive, you actually need to have another M.2 drive here available. So while this thing is still inserted here, get a, get a larger drive and adapter. So you need to have two things, a larger hard drive and an adapter, and you can plug it in right to your USB and you can clone from the original over to the larger drive. So technically you're trying to do is to clone everything over from this to that. I'll make a separate video for you. Uh, I have them in the link description below. You can go ahead and check it out. Um, or I'll try to link it up here later on at the end of the video. There's a little box here, go ahead and click that. I'll show you how to clone over from one drive to the other. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect the uh, the fan here, so the fan is pretty much a connector that goes from, from here to there. Let's remove the, uh, the screw first. So the connector is pretty much very straightforward. It push right to insert. You're going to push left to disconnect. Okay, so the connector is just like a regular connector. Push right to insert and pull or push left to remove it. And this is the uh, replacement part. If you want to take a look here, uh, you can go ahead and find out the replacement part for the uh, CPU fan. All right, so let's go ahead and remove the motherboard. Thank you. 
we need to remove the two screw and kind of lift the hinge up because the uh, the hinge is part of the thing that is holding down the motherboard and now we can start disconnecting some of the uh, the wires so this one is the 30 pin connector for your LCD so this plastic here we can go ahead and kind of get it out we need to get this up okay and just slightly pull away from your body right so there's no clipper or anything it's just that this tape right here is holding down the connector you're going to slide it away from your body so that direction and that's how you disconnect the lcd cable here comes your touchpad go ahead and open up the clipper slide the cable out open up the clipper this is your keyboard lighting slide it to your right open up the clipper slide it down this is your keyboard flex cable again maybe this is the uh, touch id on the touchpad so we have disconnected all of them now let's go ahead and remove the motherboard screws All right, so make sure you do not want to pull that cable away because the cable is still connected to the other side. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and lift up the motherboard. And I just want to slightly move it to the right. You can disconnect the cable here or you can disconnect the cable on this side. Now the entire motherboard will just come right out. All right. So the motherboard replacement part is right here at the bottom um, on the other side of the uh, the, the motherboard. Uh, I don't see any description right here. So therefore you can't, I can't tell you what it is. Oh, again, if you want to upgrade your DDR4 RAM, uh, this computer here only has one slot, meaning that this is the pre-built uh, gigs of RAM on the motherboard. And this one here is additional. So to install additional RAM, you just pop open the two little clipper, slide the RAM out, and this is a DDR4 RAM. Um, probably you can upgrade to maybe 32 gigs, get a 16, and then plus the 8 was pre-installed, I think. Something like that. Anyway, I'll link them in the description. You can go ahead and check out the RAM and get yourself an upgrade on, on the RAM. All right, now let's talk about the... Uh, the keyboard here, if you look carefully on a keyboard, it is not screwed in. So everything is kind of punched down by the manufacturer, the way they make the keyboard. So if you have spilled stuff on the keyboard and your keyboard is, is not working, technically you would have to change the entire, um, the entire keyboard right here. So you would have to remove the motherboard, uh, remove all of what I just did and then replace the entire keyboard. Unfortunately, that's the only way to do it. All right, so I hope the video is helpful. Uh, if you have any question, comment below. I read your comment and I will answer you back to the comments. Now, um, if you find the video is helpful, please give me a like. And if you haven't subscribed, I would be really appreciate if you can just click the subscribe button and the like button for me. Uh, that way it motivates me to make more of this type of video for you. And um, yeah, so hopefully everybody can learn something out of the video. And until next time, please take care. Bye now.